Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on multiplying algebraic fractions requiring prior factorization, excluding non-monic quadratics. Let's read the question. We want to express this multiplication of algebraic fractions as a single fraction in its simplest form. Now let's just remind ourselves how we multiply fractions together. Let's just say that we had 3 over 5 multiplied by 4 over 6. Now you might remember that we can just multiply the numerators together and we can multiply the denominators together. But you may also know that before we multiply these together, we can do something called cross-cancelling. Now we know in a, in a fraction like say 2 over 6, we can divide top and bottom of that fraction by the same number. So we can divide top and bottom by 2 to simplify it to get a third. But we can actually divide top and bottom where we're in the numerator of one fraction, but the denominator of the other fraction. So we can do it diagonally as well, rather than just vertically. So can you see 3 and 6, for example, both divide by 3? So you can divide those both by 3, despite the fact they're not in the same fraction. They're diagonally opposite. And that then becomes 1, and that then becomes 2. And then it's much easier. We've got 1 times 4, which is 4, and we've got 5 times 2, which is 10. And we could simplify that further, dividing by 2. We could have divided the top and bottom here by 2 before we got to this stage. Now we're going to do the same thing here, but in order to have stuff to divide by, we need to factorise everything we can first. So let's do that. I'm just going to copy the question. Now, this is a quadratic, uh, and more than that, it's a difference of two squares, because it's a difference, a subtraction, of a squared thing, it's x squared, and another squared thing, because one is a square number. And do you remember, the way we factorise that is to have two brackets, one plus, one minus, and then we do the square root of the first thing, so the square root of x squared is just x, and we do the square root of the second thing, the square root of one is one, so we put the one here, and now that's factorised. We also need to factorise this, this is a quadratic again, we call this a monic quadratic because the number in front of the x squared is 1. That's effectively 1x squared, so we call it a monic quadratic. We'll look in a future video on how we deal with non-monic quadratics when we have this kind of question. Now, do you remember that we find two numbers that add to give the middle number the coefficient of the x and times to give that final number, the constant term? What two numbers add to give 6? and times to give 5, where the 5 and 1. 5 plus 1 is 6, and 5 times 1 is 5. So therefore we have two brackets with x as the star of each, and the two numbers were 5 and 1, so we put the plus 5 and the plus 1. It doesn't matter which way around. We could have had plus 1, plus 5. Now, this thing here, how can we factorise it? Well, we always look for a common factor first. Is there something common to this and this? Well, they both have 5 in common, a factor 5. So we factorise the 5 out have a single bracket and then think, well, 5 times what is 5x? Where well, it's x. And 5 times what is 25? Where well, it's plus 5. And x minus 4, there's nothing we can factorise there, so we just put the x minus 4. And now we can do what we did up here. We can cross-cancel. Is there anything top and bottom or diagonally top and bottom we can cancel? Well, I can see top and bottom here, I've got an x plus 1 and x plus 1. So I can divide top and bottom of this particular fraction by x plus 1. But can you also see that diagonally, top and bottom, I've got an x plus 5 and an x plus 5 here. So I can divide by those. And then all I'm left with now is we've got x minus 1 times 5. So I'm just going to put 5 brackets x minus 1. You could expand it, but I'm not going to bother. It's fine like that. And all we've got left at the bottom is x minus 4. So we have x minus 4, and that is the final answer.